Hi Scorpio, this is your December forecast. If you would like a private reading with me or hypnosis to facilitate permanent change or to take advantage of the Christmas vouchers, do use the link below. Scorpio, all of next year you are transitioning into a new era. You are leaving behind things and you are starting to move forward. Now some of you that is coming from gains. You have these gains and now you're able to put that into a new lifestyle. Some of you are leaving behind things that you've been doing forever whether this be a role, a career role, whether this is graduating from all of my studies, whether this be, okay, goodbye, goodbye to my home, goodbye to, you know, everything that I've known and I'm starting new. Leaving behind self-limiting belief systems because this month you are looking at your partnerships, you're collaborating with someone, you're joining the firm with someone. Uh, and this is involved with your self-worth. So somewhere to do with your money and your finances is wrapped up to do with how you feel. Now, whether that be uh, what I will and will not sell out work for with my principles and my values, what was a step too far or a line that I won't cross, whether this be when I'm at work, <clears throat> I don't feel valued, I don't feel I'm good enough, I won't put my hand up, I feel like... Um, I feel like I'm not wanted around. Um, <clears throat> when it comes to uh, partnerships, okay, I've been looking for a job and uh, I found one, so now I'm joining the team. This could be a job share for some of you uh, because you need to take time off because your career study in finance, you've got the four of swords. So there has been a hiatus or there will be a hiatus. And, and in this area, you are recovering. The area of your, uh, what's on front of you, what you're dealing with, what you are focused on, and, and you know this is the full mindset this month, is you're looking at self-reliance, you're looking at your salary, you're looking at what you earn, what you own, any debt that you have, uh, any money you owe anybody else, and um, you might be feeling left uh, wanting you might find that you don't have enough you know you might need to take some time off work and you're really worried will I have the money to live you might be um, wanting to take time off to commit to so I've got a job and I study I do have two jobs um, my commitment so I can only you know work a certain amount because there, there can be some time away or a hiatus away and you're looking at your finances and say okay well how do I pay this I've got to pay that off I've got to be able to survive uh, because this is, I'm laid down, I'm, I'm laid back. This could be your back, this could be I have to spend time at home or I have to work from home, um, so working remotely, or I'm taking a break from work for whatever reason uh, to recover or to, uh, or even working from home. This is where you are, you've put something to rest, you've got three more things piercing you, um, Scorpio. This is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This is about your thoughts, and then this is about your focus, and you're setting a strategy and a plan so that you're able to pay off debts so you can earn more money, because this is about your salary. But your self-worth system about how you don't feel good enough, how you feel insecure about your role or the people that you work with, um... You know, either this is something that's not for you and you need to change it completely because it's making you miserable and that's why maybe you're doing two, study and work, or that this is not for you because you may love it, this may be a value system, this may be something that feels good, but that it's not bringing in the money. You're looking at this and there's two involved, so you could be joining the firm or that you're job sharing or that you have two jobs, there's, there's two here. But your self-esteem is wrapped up in this. At home, you have good news. This is so, you know, financially you're worried about the home. Financially, there's there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of thinking. There's a lot of points and detail and planning and strategy going on in my mind. Maybe you're setting a budget. But this is the four of wands. So, you know, as you can see, happy ever after. We're celebrating. We've got cover, a canopy here, which is covering us while we're at home. Um... And you're celebrating with somebody else as well. So celebrating with family. Um, so this is, you know, things at home are good. When it comes to your health, you might find that you are feeling stronger. There is a, um, a male, um, you know, specialist or doctor or a very um, masculine uh, female uh, who is presiding over your health. Now this is about inflammation and movement and uh, the results that are, are coming, you 
uh, might find that this could be risky. So this could be something that is uh, new uh, or that it's, uh, all right, well, we can try this and see if it brings you these excellent results. It's up to you which way you're going to go. But um, you be careful about giving different bits. So someone may say, oh, you know, rah, 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 that was awful, blah, 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 because there's a little bit of chatter there which might be making you feel insecure. And go back to your work. Maybe you feel like if I take time off work um, for any kind of health issues that my job won't be there when I get back or that I can't afford it. So there's something here to do with risk. Now, looking back, because we're reflecting on our health, looking back, you know, this could be something that started a long time ago and then it came back again and then there was a bit of a reprieve and then it's been here and now it's back again. So this is something that is um, going to fix this permanently or at least give you a very long reprieve. Now in your love life you do have the lover's card. Now the lover's card is a karmic love. This is about bond first and foremost. For other people, you know, and, and you know, put these two together, someone's getting engaged, someone's getting married, someone's got something to celebrate. This is a beautiful um, coming together. And again, you know, all month we're looking at the second house. So, you know, there is a proposal around you that you have something to celebrate. It's major uh, card. For others, this is about reconnecting and celebrating that. This is a complicated relationship where there is some, some insecurities there, where sometimes, you know, one or the other might take on the characteristics of the other in our life. So we are a bit chained together, and as you can see there, um, there could have been some temptation. There's a bit of fire and passion there as well. But this is complicated, you know, whether this be conflicted feelings uh, within, uh, you know, I, I don't know. Um, but being that you've got something happy at home to celebrate, it looks like things are going to be good. So your during virtue messages from the angels is... Also, one of you might be looking up and going, okay, I'm going to put my trust in this because this, this I'm conflicted and there's like, um, you know, a, a difficult, you know, partnership here, difficult times. So I'm just going to have to have the faith in this and uh, so the answer is yes. Well, some of you are celebrating babies, new addition to the family. So Serena says there's something new here to celebrate, babies or someone, a new person in this uh, thing. We do have a no here. So this is no to your fears, no to not right now, uh, no you have nothing to worry about. Whatever it is that's you know, piercing, uh, the answer there is no. Now you do have mystique which is about miraculous solutions appearing. So not to back down, not to fear, not to worry because things will work out. Uh, patience is also saying this is the time for you to strategize. This is the time for you to look into the de details. This is the time for you to look within if it comes to insecurity and belief systems because this card says that what you look, what you seek, what you research is going to help you. And Astara says you're winning, you're going to get what you want. So be kind to you and those you love. And from Jedi side, Jake, may the force be with you.